Hi, I'm John Bigham, the Operations Manager from District 18 in Swan Hill. Last year seeing our brigades challenged under very trying conditions with very large fires occurring early in the fire season and right up until Christmas Day. Some of the valuable lessons we learnt last year in firefighting was the importance of knowing how to do the burn over drill correctly. The district unfortunately burnt three trucks. Only one of these vehicles was lost through a burn over, but the crew uh, were able to escape safely. It is important that your brigades practice these burn over drills, know how to do them, and have situational awareness of where your anchor point will be. I encourage you, as part of your fire brigade training, to practice a burn over drill and at your group exercises. It should be a compulsory exercise. Hi, I'm Nick Atona. I'm a captain of the Swanall Fire Brigade. I was the incident controller at the Parsons Road Fire in November and I was the incident controller at the Aldama Road Fire in late December. Out of these fires there was a number of lessons learnt. With last year um, the above average spring rainfall that we had, we had um, crops that we've never seen in the Mallee before. They were probably 25 to 30 bag crops which is unheard of up in this neck of the woods, probably metre to metre two tall, which meant there was an extremely amount of uh, high fuel loading on the ground. Rehabilitation of the fire ground is an important part of firefighting now. It commences as soon as the fire front has passed through. It is important that you engage with the landowner, relevant municipalities or other catchment authorities to start that work early, engage contractors and certainly engage the landowners as we transition from response to recovery. A uh, K and a half, just behind me the fire started. Um, came through here, it, it probably took a while to get through here, about half an hour by the time it got off the lentil stubble and it just grazed past our house which is just in front of me. Yeah, the, the, um, after the fire was initially um, extinguished, the three road graders that put in a, a fire break, uh, they put one grader mark on the edge of the, where the fire was and then they put a further one out into the uh, where, where the standing crop still was, the unburnt area, approximately 10, 15 feet apart, the, the two greater lines. Yeah, we, we did have a couple of concerns. One was the, uh, well, basically the stubble load, or the, the crop that was mixed up in the, in the control line. It was probably, you know, on an average of half a metre high, all the way through the middle of the paddock. Um, we were concerned about being able to spray the paddock for weeds um, during the summer. Um, and, and the ability to um, get that stubble out of, the, out of the dirt to level it off to, to sow it the next year. As part of uh, the transition um, from response to recovery, John mentioned that he would we'd be able to um, rehabilitate the area and um, it's so that we could continue farming in, in, you know, over the next 12 months. Yeah, the rehabilitation that um, occurred was basically a local contractor, uh, Whitfields, um, we're engaged to come out and, and level off those areas with, with their graders. Um, it was a little bit problematic because of the, the amount of um, stubble that was still in, in the, mixed up with the, the dirt. But yeah, after the rehabilitation, um, yeah, we're able to put, put a crop in and, and um, the land's been put back to usable now. Um, yeah, so we've, we've been able to sow the crop and, and it's been levelled out and we're happy that with the CFA, with what they've, how they've um, rehabilitated our farming area. Fire ground management is an important part of firefighting. You need to understand the capability of your crew. Training is an important part of this. Ensure your members understand their role on the fire ground, how to sectorise a fire, the fire ground channels that you use, and how you will give regular situation reports back to your group LCF or back to Vic Fire. Early situation reports are an important part of firefighting. They paint a picture. They may uh, make equipment available earlier than you anticipate. It also helps with warning the public and ensuring the correct warnings are given to the public. It also may assist in the group planning to uh, support you in operations in the field. A good sit rep will contain the following information. Your current situation. Vehicles that you may require in addition to what's on the fire ground. The potential for the fire and any assets that may be under threat.
Your safety is paramount. Make sure you are well trained, your vehicle is ready, your PPC is up to date, you are well hydrated and ready to go.